hey, oh, hey, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey. So today we talk about tattoo conventions and why I never was tattooing or working on tattoo conventions and what is the difference between tattoo convention and work as a tattooist in a normal studio or more in a private place. What are the difference between all of this? got your attention what <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate fire kangaroo skull hey you all it's me Lil Lou. welcome back to my channel here everything is about very spiritual woo lifestyles no <laughs> it's not <laughs> it's about stupid people and that's what we are we are stupid and happy and yeah, today we talk a little bit about tattooing because um, most of my first period of life I was a tattooist and was tattooing. So is Angelo, he is a tattooing science also almost 10 years. So today we talk a little bit about conventions and what is the difference with tattooing on a convention and, and tattooing in something like this or tattooing in more like a normal kind of tattoo shop. We also don't do that because already that is for us way too unpersonal. But let's talk about tattoo conventions. So yeah, in my life as a tattooist, I was work at two conventions. That's all in the entire 15 years of my tattoo career. I was working only on two conventions. And it's a very simple to say why. First of all, both conventions was very close together and I already booked both um, booths at the same time. So I would have skipped the second one, but I already paid everything. So I just go through it. But I decided already after my first tattoo convention that I will not work on tattoo conventions again. And I win three times a prize on every day of the convention so normal tattooists would say it would be very successful for the first time on a tattoo convention but it wasn't for me because I just didn't like it I didn't like how unpersonal tattoo conventions are how unpersonal it is what setting you have with your client with your customer and yeah for me tattooing is something very personal something more ritualistic I would say something you can get archived on a tattoo convention you can get archived in like one on two meter place in walls who have no character who have no intimacy who have no energy no atmosphere no nothing you have a lot of noisy stuff you have people staring at you you have all this kind of stuff who completely takes everything away what a tattoo session should be. For sure as a tattooist you can benefit a lot from tattoo convention because a lot of people see your work, some magazines will be there and some PR here and there and all kind of stuff and when you make good work people will see it and yes you as a tattooist benefit from it but your clients they not May some clients who like to sit half naked in front of a big crowd, but it's not my cup of tea, I would say. <laughs> yeah, I like the private atmosphere of tattooing. I like the personal atmosphere of tattooing. And also, beside of all this personal stuff I have with a client, I like to give the maximum of quality I can do in a tattoo and the maximum of quality, the maximum of creativity, the maximum of everything what I can give, I can give in a place where I feel home, where I know where my stuff is, where I know 
I have these things here and that things there and I have my office over there. I have my computer, I have my programs, I have all my painting stuff here. I have everything what I need. So that means whatever situation comes, whatever the client asks for or I feel as an artist what the session needs, I can offer it because I have it here. So the maximum I can give in a tattoo session, I can give here in the place where I know best. Also one thing I learned is that the less you have to worry about everything around as an artist, the less you have to worry about where's my ink, where's my needles, where's this, where's that, where's the power socket, whatever. And even if it's just little things, the less you have to think about that, the more you can fully focus on your tattoo work, the more you can fully focus on your client, on your art, on your tattooing, on the progression of the piece, of the full thing of actually the stuff who really matters. And the less you have to worry about the silly stuff around and the less you can, you know, get out of focus, I would say. When I tattoo, I try to go into this tunnel, you know, I try first to get my client into this tunnel and then I have to get into this tunnel too. So I forget room, I forget time, I just, be here and know and I just work and let things stuff happen. And yes, for this I like to have my smells, my incense, my music, my light, my atmosphere. I have everything around like I needed to drift away into this tunnel because that is what tattooing was to me. And this I never could have on a convention. <laughs> Also, in the last decade of my life as a tattooist, I make only two guest spots. And one was in America and one was in Australia. And both of them was at the home of friends. It was very away from tattoo studios. It was more secret and very dirty and whatever you want to call it. I have my music and my stuff and I still try to create a different atmosphere, but even then it was very difficult for me to come into this tunnel. And yes, that's why I very, very avoided to make something like this. And I make only two guest spots in like 10 years. And when I was there, I was stayed there for a couple of weeks. I think always like around three weeks. And I had some time in between. I had time to acclimate myself, to make the place a little bit pretty, to put a little bit my stuff in. Or what means my stuff? I at least have my music, I have some incense, I have some stuff who makes me feel more home and feels different. Also, like the last, the last guest spot I done, I done in Australia and it was, I think, two years ago. And I was go very much in the bush and people had to travel a lot even there. And it was very funny because 80% of my customers I worked on big pieces there was tattooists themselves and they travel through all Australia to come to me in the bush in nowhere. And they really enjoyed that experience. They really enjoyed to break out of it, to really break out of their normal tattoo environment, I would say to be confronted with one of the biggest, most challenging pieces, not in a convention, not in a tattoo studio, just somewhere private, somewhere where tattooing belongs to me in my eyes. And sure, here everything is a little bit more professional, a little bit more clean, but it's still private. This is what the atmosphere is about, that what tattooing should be about. And that is what tattoo conventions are not about. And as a tattooist, it's, very, oh, what means tattooist? I, I don't like the word because I think I was give up very, very soon in my time as a tattoo maker, the word tattooist. I decided I don't call myself a tattoo artist, a tattooist, a whatever you want to call it. And the more I go away from think about myself as a tattoo artist, the more I go in the world I was dive in. And for this, everything got more and more personal. And the more and more I got personal, the less I could even imagine to go on conventions. <laughs> and yes, yeah, still I am a tattooist. Still I am 
love the old ways of tattooing and tattoo conventions was once a very important thing of tattooing because that was a place where tattooists come together where it was easy reachable for a lot of people who want to get tattooed who want to get tattooed by someone more better or more known or whatever because it was an easy way to get a fast appointment or things like this so i still was go from time to time to conventions and over the last years i made a couple of art gallery exhibitions on conventions and it was still a little funny and it was still only and I still only made it when the convention offers me a separate room or a separate area where I like can hide a little bit myself away and can open a little small world so people who come to the tattoo convention can enter this and see a different side of tattooing. And yes, I enjoy it, but also not because I enjoy to have my separate room there. But when I walk over the conventions the last years, it makes me very sad what I see because it gone even more and more unpersonal, I would say, and yeah, it's crazy. These days you not even heard tattoo machines running. You walk there and there's like 50 people tattooing and you hear like two machines. It's like, what the fuck is going on? And for me, the sound of a tattoo machine is always and will always be a big part of tattooing. The feeling of tattooing is like even when you lie there and you suffer, you have this sound and the sound makes something with you. It makes something with your emotions and with your feelings. And I don't know, it's maybe I'm just too old school and I need that sound. But yeah, the sound is one big point of tattooing. And I really miss that these days on tattoo conventions. Like 15 years ago on tattoo conventions, you walk in the hall and it was vibrating all around and yeah I like that I like that to hear like 50 tattoo machines running like yeah awesome <laughs> what I should say awesome yeah but these days it's all lost I think it's lost yeah for me tattoo conventions are very unpersonal and that's why I never done much tattoo convention and that's why tattoo conventions are so, so different than, than being at home or being in your little private area or being even in a tattoo studio. It's different these days. <laughs> yeah, me, I'm just this old guy who will not want to just open the eyes that the world have changed. And I stuck with believing in the old stuff, the old rules, the old roots, the old ways. And I don't stick so much to that because all of you who knows me knows that I break away from all the old stuff. I create a lot of new reads, new stuff, new kind of tattooing stuff. And I still like to feel the old roots, but yeah, that was a lot of bullshit right now. I cut out. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's a hate love with tattoo conventions because on one hand I kind of like it from time to time but yeah not to get tattooed there and not to tattoo there just to walk a little bit around but also this was fading the last year so I don't know <laughs> yeah I'm done with tattooing I'm done with tattoo conventions long ago and yeah I think better we get know the world from a a more modern tattooist who was work a lot on conventions as I heard he have to say more because a lot of tattooists don't have the comfort to have something like this here where they just can rise their middle finger up to the tattoo society and fuck off yeah a lot of tattoo uh, a lot of tattoo artists these days have to confront tattoo conventions because it's very tough these days there's a lot of people's tattooing and it's getting more and more and at some point this will break down the mainstream the fashion it will break down and like as every trend on this high peak as every trend on the biggest wave the biggest when the wave is the biggest the wave break down at some point and then we will have a problem in our genre because then there will be a lot of tattooists, a lot of tattoo studios, a lot of conventions out there and less and less people who get tattoos. So let's get Angelo here. Angelo! Da -da -da. 
our special guest. Hi. So. Mickey Mimolkolm. <laughs> so I, I leave the screen now and we get it full to Angelo. I, I'm playing all professional filmmaker behind the big camera. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so no, I was not in a lot of conventions. I just have experience on it. I was many times like visitors and yeah, I think four or five times like artist and yeah, in the beginning I was really excited to go there and share with artists because convention is also this, you know, uh, no people and no artists and uh, show yourself and con divide something and it was really emotional and really nice for me but slowly slowly I start to get different you know slowly slowly I start to see everything start to change and yeah maybe because in the business start to come people then don't know about the history of tattoos or just want money or just want to work yeah, this work is good, you know, work is important, but tattooing is something more deep, something really... <sighs> Sometimes I have no words to, to, to explain what this tattooing is. Inside us, you know, it's something and it's... Who we are, and it's... Yeah, convention is start to be too, too much, you know, too much fancy stuff, and people want to sell you and it's, yeah, it start to be different uh, in my eyes and I think in the eyes also for uh, others, you know. Yeah, with fancy stuff, fancy stuff is a good point because you know that all the tattoos with their black gloves here and that super tattoo stuff here and now they have like like tattoo closing lines. Yeah, and you don't know what to choose from many kind of different colors yeah. and different. This is good, you know, but in the same time, it's. I, I choose always two reds, two blue, two green. Yeah, you I, know? Think, I don't need to have. I think the progression of tattooing the last five years, there was a lot of technical progression. But with this technical progression was not a progression of the tattoos come anymore compared to what happened all before. When yeah. you compare like the last decades before, it has like, you know, from between the 90s and 2000. Wow, yes. between 2000 changed, and no? 2010. Yeah. Wow, when you, when you look at tattoo magazines from like 2000, that's like crap. But when yes. you look at tattoo magazines from, no, let's say 2003 to 2019, that's not much difference anymore. Because the tattoos itself didn't progress that much. It feels like that a lot, put a lot more effort in this all stuff around this, being the fancy tattooist, having the most professional equipment, the most fancy looking gloves, the yeah. most fancy looking this and creams yeah, here. Yeah, when you have not the banner, you know, you are... Yeah, like, the banner, yeah. You I see never they, bring the, camp, the they banner see, with me, you know. I always write on the wall my name and it's... But you see the tattoo is... Because it's me. They have, hanging, they have hanging banners from pictures of themselves and not yes. from pictures from tattoos. And this is how far tattooing is because it's about the tattoos, not the tattoos anymore. Yes. And the customer experience is like fucked because, you know, the customers, they grow up now like this and they care more about the tattooist than the tattoo or they not care about the tattooist itself. They care about the social rank of the tattooist. So that means a tattooist who have this amount of followers on Instagram, it's considered as a good tattooist. Yeah. And people don't even look at the tattoos anymore. They don't need a banner of tattoos anymore. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. give a crap. And it's what happened on my last convention because it's... Yeah, this year I decided to stop with them then. You know, I don't want to go anymore there. My last convention, it was a bit... You know, frustrated. I don't know. I was feeling like I was in the wrong movie, you know. 
and everyone was watching me and my customers suffer a lot because it's yeah I make a bug piece there and it was weird it people just watch at us like what is wrong here you know and it's I was the only one without the banner with the tape my name was tape it on it you know and even I have no my Instagram and nothing it's it was cool when someone would come and ask me, yeah, what, but who you are? And this is, was really interested people asking me, but the rest, it was, uh, it, they see me like different. Like I was not like others, but for me, this is special, you know, it's why we have to be all the same, you know, all this fucking banner. And if you have not the banner, oh no, you are not, you know, you are not, this is not the way to make convention, fuck it, you know. I make what I want and it's, I am artist and I express myself in this way, you know, and you accept it or not. And yeah, I was feeling so weird, then I decide, yeah, this is not my way, you know, and I start to work here and here, everything change, you know, I change and I prefer make this in, comfy situation where you can feel home and when the customer feel then this is place for this you know and everything change when customers start to feel also the place and yeah the atmosphere and smell and it's much more personal and much more intense and yeah this is what I want from my tattoo sessions Whoa. So guys, I hope you like this little weird silly but not so silly and deeply serious talk about very important tattoo related questions you may not even got but we don't care anyway and we speak about it. So yeah like comment put that damn subscribe button on here put the bell notification on and enable all notification only for my channel because you want to be the first one where you get the new videos always be a good subscriber help us to let this channel rise and grow and spread a little bit the old words out out of our little modern temple of insanity here and that's it for today. Peace out, you sniggers, and see you next time.